This is what I wake up to almost every day when I'm home. Not in the truck. Pretty spectacular views. Bad thing is, is once you wake up, you have to go do something. Sometimes you just never know what you're gonna do. It's pretty much like today. Oh, best way to start a day, 7-Eleven Nitro. What flavor today? These things are so good. That is the end result. Well, the end result is when it's going to be in my belly. But before we figure out what we're going to do for the day, I think got to do the usual get a car wash. I don't want to be out in public with this filthy car today. Pretty good deal going on at this car wash had it for a long time. Pay 20 bucks a month on limited car washes. My car is cleaner than I am. Most of the time. I'm not really sure what's going to happen today. I slept in. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I pulled a 24-hour shift yesterday. I worked for 24 hours straight. Got home about midnight. Went to bed about 1. And I'm waking up at 1. I slept longer than I worked almost. But I am rejuvenated, re, re, rejuvenated. And uh, I think today, I just wanna find something fun to do and relax. My body is beat. I do a wax ceramic coat on the car the other day. And I park underneath oak trees and it still got dirty. But I'm really curious how many car washes it takes to mess up that wax. So curious in that wax is it actual ceramic coating or do wax companies just say ceramic coating inside of it? For some reason, I, if you get your car ceramic coated, it's usually like a thousand bucks. It's hard to believe that a, inside of a bottle of car wax there's actual ceramic coating. Let's get through this and see what the car looks like. I wonder if these brushes scratched up the wax. Okay. Yeah. Um, Those are water droplets. I thought they were something else. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. The smearing that I left when I tried to wax it seems to be gone. And the water is beating up pretty good. Yeah, that that stuff in the bottle worked. It's nice. Before I go do anything, I might as well grab a free charge real fast. Well, 1772. Yeah, we still have a couple of them around town that are free. I'm trying to figure out what my options today are. I could either work again. I could just do some Uber ride share food deliveries. Or... Call Steph stuck in a truck, see if she wants to go do lunch, or go to the beach, or go to Disney, or go to Universal Studios, or go to the water park, or just go out to the forest and walk around and look for animals. I don't know, there's so many things to do when you got very limited time to go do stuff because you don't know if work's going to call you and say, hey, we need you to go to Miami tonight. You know, you don't want to be 50 miles away from home to be able to go to work. So you kind of got to pick and choose what you can do. And um, I'm in the process of just waking up, getting my coffee, getting the car wash, and trying to figure out what do I have time to do today? It's very hectic with so many options. 
Well, it happened. Work called. I have to leave soon. But stuff stuck in a truck did contact me and said, hey, you want to go have some lunch before you go to work? And I said, yes. And this is the spot she wanted to have lunch. We'll try to look at it. Don't mind the golf cart. Assuming she's out walking around because I parked over here in the shade and her car is right here, but I don't see her in it. Now assume she is down here by the water. We're not eating by the water. We're actually going to a restaurant. Now, about 20 years ago, I actually used to live over here. I lived just down the street or through past the water over here. And uh, they started building this all out here in the villages and kind of kicked all of us out that used to live here. And people like this all moved in and we had to relocate. There was a big relocation shift in the local government back in the day because they wanted all the retirees from up north to come down here and buy property and displace all of us. It's all for the best. It's a, it's a little bit crowded over here with people. I'm not gonna lie though, I do miss living over here. It, it's, it was nice, it, it was nice while it lasted. Her look at Steph, she's sitting there waiting for me. See you found a nice shady spot to relax. Pretty picturesque. Because I'm the duck whisperer. Hey guys. I don't know what they're doing. Are they gonna come out of the water? They are, they're Keith Holt Hillbilly Garden Ducks. It's like summertime right now. It's hot. Let's see. Hey guys. So far today's video has been a lot of wildlife. But it's fixing to be food, food life. Well, she is starting me out with a salad bar. She says I don't eat enough salad. And here at Ruby Tuesdays, they got a pretty good salad bar. It's rare that restaurants even have salad bars anymore. They're kind of a thing of the past. So Steph went ahead, is getting us lunch, and me and her both ordered smash burger. They did have a gluten-free bun, which is good for her. I hate to tell you, Ruby Tuesdays, your smash burgers suck. The, the patty is smaller. It's about as, the patty is about as small as one tater tot. It's, it's a little dinky. It doesn't even fit in the bread really. It's so tiny, you can't find it. But uh, flavor's okay though. And the bonus though, it's unlimited salad bar. So that, that's pretty good. Another bonus, Steph's pan for the lunch, not me. So that, that even makes it better. No, 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 give me my thing. I was gonna say, she left her. She left her wallet, <laughs> and it's gonna make me pay anyway. But now, here, just take my card. I can pay with my phone. I don't know. I'm the one take that my... invited oh, him to lunch. Wait. <laughs> this was supposed to be a free lunch. Here we go ahead. Put hey. Sorry. Hey. Okay. And then it gives you choices. Yo, you were awesome. So there you go. Thanks. Food terrible. You <laughs> awesome. Was it horrible? You, you've had smash burgers before, right? They're never burgers. that big. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is, too? Hold on. Cheap Well, due to the fact I ended up having to pay for lunch, time is also running out. Oh, that's right. Time is running out. Oh, because I do have to go to work. Um, we're deciding, go ahead and go to the swimming pool. So we are gonna go back. She's gonna work one or two more Uber rides real fast. I'm gonna head on home, get my swim trunks on, not my normal one, not my shorts. I'm gonna get my normal swimming trunks on and wait for her and we're just gonna go to the swimming pool for about an hour before I have to head down to Miami. Not in the car, so that will not be on this video. Everything I do in this playlist is done Chatamo style or for today, 1772. Blown away how well that wax worked. I can, man, I can see my own reflection in the car. 
and a kitty in the window. You can only stay for a minute, guys. I'm gonna go pot, not potty, I'm going to the pool. I'm going to the pool. What do you think? Yes. I'm gonna go to the pool and leave you guys here once again. Once again. Oh, okay, I just got off the phone with work. They canceled my Miami load tonight. So we could have went to the beach or we could have went to the theme parks. And I, I guess we still can, but it is now 4.30 in the afternoon. So you can never really make plans. It's kind of my fault though, because I mean, it's not my fault that the load got changed. It's my fault I didn't get notified 20 minutes ago because well, I mean, it really would have made a difference anyway, I guess. But I did leave my phone in the car. So I guess they did try and contact me. I, received it by an email but that's okay new plans have been made we're still going to the pool i'm gonna hop on the skateboard at the moment and ride up to the pool stuff is not back yet but i just uh i'm not going to miami i'm just going down by tampa so and that's not until tomorrow afternoon at two so we'll, we'll figure out something to do but at the moment uh, i am going to leave my chatamo vehicle here and hop on my skateboard that does not use chatamo at the moment I have 12 miles left, I think, 12 miles left on the skateboard. So uh, let's, let's uh, head on down and put about one mile on it, shall we? Let's go. I'm gonna get wet before Steph even pulls into the campground. It is so nice to be able to just relax. I mean, it's nice to go out and do things but it's nice to just kick back by the pool too. That's the one great thing about life now, not having a house, not having an apartment. I mean, an apartment would be cool, but you have the bills. Here you just live in a camper or an RV. You got putt-putt golf, you got swimming pools, you got a rec center. It, it's, it, it is nice to just be able to come home, stay home, not worry about the theme parks though. I did want to go to the theme park and the beach today. It's, it's, it, maybe this weekend, maybe this weekend I'm going to have a few hours to kill. But in the meantime, I'm going to go get my toes wet. Yeah, the beach is definitely warmer. Ooh, it's cold. Okay. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's about it. That's about all I, I can do. I, I don't think I can get wet all the way. Okay, I did it. I, I, I got wet. I, I got wet. I'm, I'm going to wait for Steph. Oh, I, I bet she won't do that. She won't get wet. Oh, that was a nice little so lunch. Get a little bit wet in the pool. Oh. oh, God. Just need to wait for my sweet tea. Supposedly, she is on the, at the store getting a sweet tea for me. I bought lunch. She buys the sweet tea. Now for what this video is about. Chatamo. Traveling with Chatamo. Before I end today's video, let me respond to comments a little bit, some comments that have been in the videos. One in particular this week was when I was waiting for a car to charge and waiting to, you know, there was nobody there and I waited an hour and I decided to unplug the car and then plug my car in because the person just left their car charging even though it wasn't charging. Somebody in the comments says, if I went back to diesel, which I've never owned a diesel car in my life. But if I went back to diesel, I would not have that issue. Which is probably true. Gas stations have been established for over 100 years or more. Uh, you fuel up, you pay, and you split. No issues. Sometimes, though, at gas stations, people do stay on the fuel pumps. I'm, as a truck driver, I know that because I'll sit in line to get my fuel of diesel at a truck stop. 20 30 minutes because somebody left their truck parked on the fuel island while they're in getting a coffee i've been to the truck stop before where truck drivers have started fueling they go in to take a shower and are gone for like 30 40 minutes grabbing a shower while parked on the fuel island so yeah i guess uh i still would have that problem it's not a case of whether you have an electric vehicle a gasoline vehicle or a diesel vehicle people sometimes are just inconsiderate so your comment of if i had a diesel car 
I wouldn't have that issue, I guess, is actually false. I put on over 4 million miles as a truck driver and inconsiderate people are using every form of filling up their vehicles and uh, that's it, just the way it is. It's not the lack of, I mean, it is the lack of EV charging stations in the state of Florida, obviously, but it's also the inconsideracy. In, I don't know if that's a word or not. I don't have my thesaurus with me, but it makes sense. Incon, whatever the word I just made up. Incon, being inconsiderate. There's a lot of inconsiderate people out there. Sometimes I'm guilty. I'm inconsiderate sometimes too. But you realize that when someone else is inconsiderate and it makes you change your ways. So that's, that's the reason that was in the video. I left it in. Maybe someone will see that video and go, you know what? I'm going to sit with my car. I'm going to monitor the phone app showing what my charge is. At a gas station, you really don't have the app to say, hey, you know, you put your, your gas pump in and you start pumping and you run in to get a sweet tea, go to the bathroom or something like that. You don't have to monitor your app or a lot of people don't monitor they don't have an app so they just stay gone longer than expected and truck drivers cases sometimes it's just to grab a shower you know you put your fuel in you start pumping you go in and get a shower and you get a line of trucks you know three or four deep there's uh yeah so i'm just i'm here to talk about that one comment on today's video it's just there is inconsiderate people no matter which way you fuel up your vehicle. So it, it, it doesn't matter if I was driving a diesel, electric, or gas. It happens everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wait for my sweet tea to get here. I am going to go ahead and jump back in the pool and end today's video. And I will see you from somewhere down the road. Not exactly sure. It just depends on work. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you later. Peace, everybody.